Hello everyone, Argzy here. Welcome back to the channel. We're doing something a bit different today. We are going to go on a treasure hunt. Yep, I have located all the collectibles in Farming Simulator 22 on all three maps. And over a course of a few videos, we'll be showing you how and where to find them. So, if you want to find these on your own, I'd suggest you stop the video now. How have I found these already, you ask? Through some clever investigative work, having a look in the map XML files, checking the coordinates for each object and converting it to match the in-game coordinate system shown on the mini-map. We'll be able to head to each location and find them one by one. Now each map has a different collection and quantity to find, so make sure you check out all the videos for each map to find what you're looking for. Alright, let's go get our treasure hunting outfit on and let's get going. So today we're starting out on Elm Creek. In total there are 100 collectibles to find. They're split up into 10 different objects. A tractor, a plow, cedar, water trailer, harvester, trailer, pig, sheep, cow and horse. Each one available in 10 different colours. Once you've found all of one item, such as 10 tractors, there's a little surprise at the end. In some locations there are multiple different coloured objects, so we'll pick them all up at the same time, but we'll make sure we go back and show them off in the relevant colour section when we get to it. Some are also in some pretty interesting locations, which may require some creative thinking to access, particularly if you're a console user. Grain augers to walk up, maybe? When you collect the item, you will get $1,000 for each one, and once you've found all 10 of one type, there is a bonus $100,000 as well. So, if you're looking to make some money, it is certainly a good thing to do. As we go through, I'll show you the general location on the map. The mini map will be up in the bottom corner, which will show you the coordinates of each individual dribble collectible, so you can know exactly where to go. Alright, let's get started. We're going to make a start on the red collection. As you can see on the map, these are the approximate locations. For each one, I'll give you the coordinates where you can find it, and then go and find it to add to my collection. First up, the red tractor. Right outside the bowling arena, you run over the road, head down over here, down into a drain. Once we get into the drain, turn around in here, and there it is, sitting in the culvert. We just pull up next to it, press R to collect, and there we go, nine more tractors to be found. The red plough, we've just come into the ravine here, the loop on the right, if we come up here into this little alcove on the left here, walk up in here, we will find the red plough. There it is, we'll pick that up and get that added to the inventory as well. Out here on the main road next to the gas station, we'll just run in here through these two houses. On the left here, on the single story house, there's an upturned bath, come around the back you'll find it just there. Let's get this one picked up as well. Number four, the red water trailer. Down here at the grocery, we come around the back. The platform here, you can see it sitting up there on the platform. Climb up the ladder, up onto the platform, and there's that one got. Read number five, the harvester. This one was one of the harder ones for me to find even with the coordinates. We had to go all the way down here into the cave. I was standing up on top trying to figure out where it was. But we'll follow our nose all the way down here. There's about three actually down in this cave. But we'll go find the first one that we need first. Through here and you can see it just up there at the top of the ladder. is the Red Harvester. Next stop down here at the biogas plant. This one's an easy one to find. In here between the three tanks, just sitting around the corner here next to this little building, is the trailer. There we go. And we're looking for a little red pig down here at the campsite. And I thought this one was quite a clever little placement right up the back here on the grill or barbecue pit. There we go, pig is found. Down here at the gas station, if you have a look up on the garrison sign, you will see a little red sheep sitting on the top of the S. So this might be a case of using a tractor or something to climb on. I figured I could do a little bit of parkour and make my way across here on the fence and then up onto the roof. 
back over here and we'll collect our sheep. On the road here, as you walk up to underneath the rail bridge, you'll see there's three here all together. So we are going to grab our red cow. I will be able to leave the others here and come back and get them at the appropriate time. We're back down here on one of the trails around the ravine and on our way to this house. Another one that's quite easy to locate and spot, you would have seen it in the thumbnail, is our red horse sitting out here overlooking the ravine. There we go, that is all 10 of our red collectibles. Let's move on now to the orange. So the first of our orange collectibles, we're down here at the cereal factory in the town. We head around the back here. There's a little alleyway just down here on our right. A couple of skip bins. We go past the skip bins. We're going to find our orange tractor sitting down there on the ground. There's a small little farmyard up between field 20 and 21. We're going to head up behind the red barn here on the right, the smaller of the two. There's actually two here. We've uh, got the blue tractor and the orange plow. We are only after the orange plow at this stage, but we'll see if we can leave the blue tractor behind. No, we've taken the tractor. Not to worry, we will get that and we will get the plow as well. And back here on the main street again, we are looking for a third of the orange collectibles. It is up on the roof next to the chimney. So we will go and climb up these conveniently placed ladders. Around here on this uh, scaffold or planks around the chimney is our third orange collectible. This is the grain pool east. If we walk through the dump spot up here or the unload point, there's a little gangway here on the left up the stairs and along the top we'll find the orange water trailer. The orange harvester is located in the corn maze. Up to you how you want to find it, whether you follow the path or use the coordinates. I'm going to jump straight to the coordinates and find it that way. And there it is. Another one down at the East Grain Elevator, instead of going straight through where we went before, hang a left, come in here and you'll find it in the shipping container. Down here at the pond, and we'll just wander out here, we'll go for a swim out to the boat. You can already see it sitting up there on the bow of the boat, is our orange pig. Our eighth orange collectible is the sheep and this is another one where we have lots in one spot. We head up the stairs here, up the grain leg, all the way to the top with a deck chair, a basketball and four animals. Yellow, lime, cyan and orange. I think of the colours. We'll Make sure we get all of those put in their correct places in the video. So let's grab these on the world. Carry on. Back down here at the bowling alley again. We'll just come around the outside here, find a broken arcade machine, and inside that is a cow. Bead and Grain South is the location of our last orange collectible, the orange horse, around the corner here into this recess and on top of the step ladder. Oh, it was nailed to the wall. There we go, collected. All right, that is all of the orange collectibles done. We are gonna move on to yellow now. Our first yellow item, the tractor, just south of the animal dealer. We have a little bridge going across the creek. If we 
walk down the side here, hug the edge up on this concrete, and we will find our tractor. Down here at the pond again, we turn around behind us, we will find the playground. Come around here, up this ladder, over the top, and there is our plough. We're at the livestock market for the next one. So if we walk up across these gangways and make our way up them, they're very difficult to walk up. Head around here to the left and along the gangway here behind the building. All the way to the end is our yellow, what they call cedar. More like a manure spreader to me. But there that is added now too. And another one here at the campground, similar direction where we went to to find the pig earlier on the barbecue. But if we take a left here into this tent, in the back corner is our water trailer. Johnson's Farmer's Market is home to the yellow harvester and you can see it right up there on the roof. Now this is one again for console players that may require a tractor or something to get up here onto the roof. I am able to use the flight mode so we'll just uh, get up here, land back down and go and collect this one. But a tractor, an auger, something like that to be able to jump up on the roof might be the ticket to get this. Stan Haggett State Preserve, not far from the top of the ravine. There is a campground, we've got the picnic area, we've got a little bit of a playground. And if we head up this little ladder here on the playground, we'll see we've got two here. We've got a cow and a trailer. So we will have to get them both. There's the trailer, in fact. We didn't have to take the cow, so we'll leave that and come back and get it when the time is right. The house here next to field 26 and 27. We want to walk up onto the porch, turn to the right, and up in the hanging basket up here, we'll find our pig. There we go, collected. On the corner of field 69, there is a track which leads under the train tracks. And up here on the right hand side of the track, as we're approaching it, or off the bridge, we've got three animals all having a little party. We are only interested in trying to grab the yellow sheep. There we go, we'll come back and get the other ones when it's time. This is South Valley Biomass Energy. And our next target is up on the roof. Again, some strategically placed ladders by giants will lead us up here onto the roof. Some of these are easier to climb up than the others. If we keep going all the way up. Right out here on the point is our cow. Collected. That is the last of the yellow ones we need to find. We've already collected the horse that was on top of the grain leg, uh, but I will show the location of that again in just a second. All the way to the top with a deck chair, a basketball, and four animals. So that is the end of part one of our treasure hunt on Elm Creek. We have found 30 collectibles. We have got the red orange and yellow all done which leaves 70 more still to go so stay tuned for part two uh, if you found this useful and helpful please make sure you leave a like if you don't already please subscribe to the channel i appreciate your support i do hope you have enjoyed that thank you very much for watching and i'll catch you in the next one